lightroomtutorials.com. Easy to follow, easy to learn, designed to inspire. Hey everyone, it's Matthew Sean Will here from freelightroomtutorials.com. I'm going to show you guys how to process or edit a night photo. Uh, the photo you see in front of me here is uh, a photo of Niagara skyline. And uh, it was taken, it was a little underexposed, but we do have some beautiful highlights. As a raw image, it looks pretty good, but uh, there's so much more that we can do. So let's first look at the before and after of this photo. If you notice the image on the left is the before, the image on the right is the after. Uh, it's a dramatic difference. Uh, we've done a fair bit of cropping, we've played with specific colors, uh, we've allowed certain things to, uh, regards to our highlights and our contrast to, to be developed. And uh, at the end of the day, it's a dramatic difference night and day from the raw image to the processed image. So let's actually look at how to do that. So the first one of the first things we work out is um, I want to really make sure we work on the cropping. So what I'm doing right now is uh, just going to crop this in. Uh, framing our photo is really important because we want it to be framed well. There's not too much on the detail on the outsides taking away and so on. Uh, the highlights are important. Uh, playing with those up and down. Uh, dropping the temperatures down just a little bit. Uh, in a night photo, what I want to do is I want to have contrast. I want my lights to really pop. And in this in this image here, as you see, um, I'm trying to really allow the contrast to shine. So we've got pretty dark darks and really bright highlights. Um, the problem with that is that, as you notice here, if you put your highlights too high, you actually lose a bit of the detail. So I just drop the highlights down a little bit to uh, minus 57. And I'm just going to play with the cropping again. I think that tree on the left is, or the bush on the left is definitely going to help. Um, but we'll see as we, as we go along here. Uh, so now, like I said, I'm interested in playing with the colors. Uh, pulling that blue in just down the right-hand side near the, sky, the, the Skyline Tower. Um, just boosting my vibrance just a little bit here. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, now as you do that, obviously night photo, I'm just dropping my noise reduction down. What else do I want to play with here? The blues, the play with my temperature a little bit because it's, I don't want it to be orange. I want it to be a little more dark blue-esque. Maybe a little bit of purple in there as well. Uh, how else do we work with this? Oh, let's, yeah, I'm going to re reframe this or crop this again. Uh, I don't think that tree works at all. So let's adjust that, make sure that it's level. Um, now on the left-hand side of my screen here, we see that there is a, uh, a couple leaves I want to sort of clone out in Lightroom and see if I can play with that just like that there. Now as you notice um, as I'm cloning these out there it's not bad the cloning tool is okay in Lightroom uh, it's nothing like Photoshop though Photoshop is amazing uh, for that but I try to keep it as simple and easy as possible because um, this is not going to take me too long to edit and it's a dramatic difference if I can keep it in one program uh, regards to editing and processing a photo I will surely do that unless there's something dramatic that I cannot do but as you can see here uh, I'm removing this pretty pretty well pretty easy with the clone tool uh, in Lightroom itself it's looking pretty good uh, the colors are pretty good it's not looking too bad I still have some things I gotta work on though I'm gonna boost the clarity sort of give me the contrast uh, a little more contrast on the edges there. Uh, it leaves my mid-tones, but it adjusts my highlights and my con my darks at the same time, or my shadows. Drop back this highlight so I don't lose the buildings. What else do I have? Do you know what? I'm just going to remove that whole even possible section where that tree was on the left-hand side, so it's not even a part of it. Because uh, yeah, I don't really want to don't really want to see that. It's looking pretty good. I'm keeping it low uh, with my rule of thirds. Now let's really bring in the the darkness or the contrast from the um, from the sky. So drop that down a little bit so we really know where we're looking in the photo. That looks a lot better. A little bit darker there. So it's almost like the city is really shining. Shining nice and bright. Oh, there goes my angle a little bit. Uh, my my graduated, uh, not a radial filter, my graduated filter there. I think it looks pretty good. Dropping down so it really, really brings your eyes to the center. I love the reflection of the water. Um, drop those blacks a little bit more. Allows it to work a little bit better there. I think that was a pretty calm, pretty calm night. There's a before and after again, just seeing dramatic difference uh, in the colors and how it all works. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to like this photo a lot. Um, how was my highlights on that casino building? Looking pretty good. I can't complain. We got good detail. Got to start with a great photo or a good uh, composition. But uh, at the end of the day, that's uh, the basics of how I edit or will play with or edit a night photo. Hopefully uh, you've learned a couple things. Um, the big things with a night photo is you really want to keep, for me personally, I love to put the contrast in. I love color if there's possible and uh, really showing, using the elements to show the viewer of where to look. So at the end of the day, uh, this is Matthew Shonwell from freelightfotutorials.com. That was a brief tutorial on how to process your night photos. Hopefully it uh, helped you out and hopefully you stick around and enjoy some more videos.